Hello guys, hello girls, good evening. Hello Melissa, hello Evelyn, can you listen to me? Hi teacher, yes. Hey, how are you doing? I am fine, nice. and you? Good, I'm, I'm really good, thank you so much for asking. And how about you Evelyn, how are you doing? Fine, and you teacher? Nice to hear that, I'm doing really good. All right, so how was your weekend? Was it good? Was it nice? Was it busy? How was it? In my case, in my uh -huh. case, was busy. Making money, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> but nice. so uh, we celebrate the first year of my housing. Ah, okay. So you were partying all weekend celebrating yeah. <laughs> birthdays i see so it's your cousin mm -hmm. okay great and what about uh, you guys what about well what about gustavo what about evelyn how was your weekend was everything good having fun chilling at the beach Teacher, good, evening. good evening relaxing mm -hmm. good evening so today is class number six, right? And it's Monday again. So this time we're going from Monday to Thursday. And well, uh, we are working on, uh, well, this is section two, okay? Let me share the screen. We're gonna start with, with it right now. Give me a sec. Last class we practiced with uh, these comparisons, right? And we were kind of like uh, brainstorming some ideas in how to use uh, comparisons with um, occupations and professions. And uh, we're going to retake that class because today we're going to add some other ideas in the same topic, you know? And um, so who can give me a, a comparison using the structure Let's see the most common one, which is um, with the word then, but when we have one uh, adjective and then we use then, and then we use, um, I mean, we need to have two things that we want to compare. So, uh, and then we have this other structure in which we use as not, blank as, right? And we have as, blank as. If you remember, we use not as blank as when we want to make comparison when one thing is different than the other, but when we want to express similarities, we use as blank as. For example, Melissa is as intelligent as Evelyn. Both, right? Same, same level, none of them is like uh, more than the other one. So, um, can you please provide me with any example? And I remember I said, can you use um, gerunds, you know? So who can provide any example using gerunds at the beginning of the sentence? Making a comparison. So let's start this way. Uh, how about if you open your mic or use text on the chat? And any example before we get started with today's topic. Think about your weekend, think about things you do, activities, and, and use this structure. I will read your examples on the chat, or I'll listen to your examples. Mm -hmm. Think about activities or you do, and provide me with any example, when any comparisons, basically. That's what I need. Working as a nurse is more stressful than working as a teacher. You think so, Jose? So just an example, but you might say for a reason. Okay, interesting. I think I'm gonna copy this. I need this example. Um, okay, anything else? Maybe not only using this 
I achieved that I gave uh, yeah, last, last, last uh, yesterday. Maybe any other adjective you can think about. Spending time with our family is watching a movie is playing soccer is and then you you give me examples with uh what comes to your mind only jose has one example and the other ones what do you have <clears throat> so we're gonna start with jose's example that's gonna be our point of of the of you know, that's gonna be our starting point, okay? So let's see, this is what we said last time. Oh, we have another example. Working as a driver is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yep. All right, two examples, now we can get started. So by the end of this class, we are going to learn, we're going to practice because we started practicing this on previous class how to make comparisons, okay, that's the point. And this is what we said last time, and working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. And these were the structures suggested on the video. Melissa says, listening to music is more amazing than watching TV. Okay, I like this example, maybe right, depending on what you're listening to or watching. And then uh, what about guys, if you create one with this formula, worse, better, um, these are another way. How can you provide any example with better and worse? These are irregular. Anyone, anyone who can provide me with an, ex, an example? At home, at work. Uh -huh. What do you have? Um, learning to, uh, learning, learning to English is more interesting that learn, learning science okay learning english is more interesting than learning science okay yes that's, a, that's another one and accountants are better paid than nurses i like this example because this is today's topic jose i can see you have seen already the class okay i like what he's saying accountants are better paid this is a participle of birds hmm. interesting and sleeping uh, all night is better than sleeping just just uh, for hours. Okay, and then Angie, cook the food is better than by uh, so cooking uh, cooking the food is better than is better than buying it. So let's remain with the uh, with the ing form. Drinking water is better than coffee. Drinking beers is better than drinking water. Depends, right? Or maybe drinking coffee is better than drinking soda. I don't know. I like these examples well. And this is what we have said already. Now, in your house, please, compare two person, two people with this one, in your family, with this one, this structure. Okay, open your mic, please. Don't, don't write anymore. Open your mic. As blank as so what can you share with me what can you tell me two members of your family my brother is as tall <laughs> as my sister okay i like that one okay 
My younger sister is as tall as my older sister. Sounds good. Okay, I want to read one more example. My mother is as serious as my father, as angry as my father, my younger sister. Okay, and what about us? If you create one example, let's see, Evelyn example, my brother is as friendly as my sister. I like this one. Okay, and what about, now let's think about two products, okay? We can be products from technology, like technological things, electronics, and compare it with this one, negative, okay? For example, uh, Dell computers aren't as, what as good as HP computers. So give me one example on your own, two products, please. What comes to your mind? Let's see, Hawaii, oh, Huawei, cell phones, isn't it aren't, because it's cell phones aren't as good as Samsung phones, right? Huawei, Huawei, I think is, um, is the company, with what, is Apple's, you know, competitors in the United States, I think. Huawei has a really, has really good, you know, um, let's say, Phones, categories. Yeah, has, has good phone, but not too good as Samsung phone. <laughs> okay. But it depends the, the the model. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. The best with that. model of Huawei is better than than middle uh, quality. <laughs> Samsung, yeah. Because, uh, you know, I used to work for, for AT&T and AT&T uh, distributes um, like Samsung iPhone and also Huawei phone. But then Huawei was always, I mean, Apple was always afraid of Huawei due to these new models that they were launching. I don't know. There might be something in there, right? But I... Price. The price on Huawei phones is better than Samsung. Uh -huh. That's volume, volume, volume of sales. Mm -hmm. The big weight for Huawei, mm -hmm. but top Huawei and top Samsung. Mm, Samsung. I think Samsung could be better. Mm -hmm. I think. The okay. top, 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 top on top ranking. Okay, yeah. let's see. Uh, okay, I don't know much about phone. <laughs> I think about two. I think that too about Huawei. Okay, and G under cameras are not as good as iPhones. I have never had an iPhone. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe right. Maybe Joel has the, the latest one. Uh, by the way, what is the latest uh, iPhone on the market? Number 13. 13. You know, the last one I saw was the, the, the 10. I guess. Oh, you, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe right. Well, uh, let's move on, guys. Thank you so much for sharing all your examples. They're just great. Now uh, let's move on. Let's take a look at this one. And we saw this last class that we can say same ideas, but then we can also have a, a contrasting idea by using less instead of more, right? For example, uh, Joel, can you read the first one? And then Melissa, can you read the second one? And then maybe Gustavo, you help us with the last one, these examples. Go ahead, please. Okay. Working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. 
working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. Working as a lawyer is as interesting as working as a mechanic. Thank you so much. As you, as you can see here, we have uh, different ideas, right? Just by changing some details, right? On the, on the structure. So more and less opposite things, right? And then uh, when we have these as and as, similar things, okay? This is interesting. Well, this is what we have been studying now. I think somebody already shared one example with today's structure, but it's really cool. So let's move on. Let's see, this is what we're gonna focus on today. We are going to uh, study, well, this is from previous class. We can also compare using nouns, like a lawyer has more education than a, than a mechanic, uh, using better hours than a lawyer, like mechanic has better hours than a lawyer. And this is what we have said, like working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer. So now, I think it was Gustavo or Jose who sent one comparison with um, participles. Now, what are participles? Emma? I have a question about mm -hmm. something. And mm, what do ahead. you mean when you, okay. what do you mean when you say, when you say better hours? Better hours, uh, maybe it has to do with schedules. Schedule like shift. Okay, thanks. Right. In this case, that's the only thing that comes to mind. Like when you say better hours, like uh, maybe that's going to be, I would say schedule flexibility. It has to do with shift, right? How many hours you work a week or the shift you do maybe at night or, or during the day, right? Okay, uh, or maybe the amount you get paid per hour. Sometimes when you work like professional, um, for professional hours, I know I don't know if that is that how you call it. It depends, right? Maybe the content will provide more examples. Now, more ideas. I'm sorry. So now, um, look at this one. We have a way to compare um, with verbs. This is what we are going to focus on today. And let's create more examples. We have doctors earns more money than a nurse. So we have now. We don't have uh, an adjective anymore, but we have an adverb. And we add the word more to make a comparison with then. Okay, so what comes to your mind? What other verbs can you use? And let's think about maybe not only occupations, any other situation. And let's use verbs. What comes to your mind? And we can also, of course, make negatives as you can see here. Let's think about verbs, guys. We have two examples here. We have a teacher earns as much as a police officer. You see? Using the as much as or just by adding more and then then, which express a comparison, not a similarity as in the last one. So any, any other verb that you can think about? I don't wanna give you anything like now, I'm gonna give you some examples or some other ideas at the end. So I want you to think about other verbs to make comparisons. Teacher, mm -hmm. could it be a doctor sleeps less hours than a teacher? I like that one. Of course it can be. I like that. Uh, depends, right? If the teacher doesn't work that much, if the teacher does <laughs> But yeah, you're right. That's, if, that's basically. If the teacher work in the night like you. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't sleep. No, I do sleep. I think is that uh, that sometimes. Um. Well, doctors they do shifts at night, the whole night. If you work at a factory, for example, these people, they do shifts at night. Uh, it must be very like tiring, right? <laughs> Okay, but that's a good example. You see, you're making an example using verbs, actions. Thank you so much for bringing that example to the table, Joel. Anything else that you want to add? Guys, we are, let's see how many we're connected. 10. So I wanna hear 10 examples.
Hey, I know you're thinking about your example. I can, I can, I can feel it. <laughs> or just, just not thinking about it. So any other bird that you can think, maybe comparing not only occupations, it can be situations, places, it can be conditions. Sports, animals, weather conditions, just as long as you compare two things. See, soccer players run more than basket, basket player, basketball player. I have an, an another teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, taxi drivers spend more time in the streets than an account time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, really good. That's true. That's really true. Okay. I have some others here on the chat. Thank you so much Joel, for, for sharing them on by speaking. That's really good. Let's see, soccer players run more than, uh, then we have dogs, it's more than cats, okay? Engineer likes more, like, like more the numbers than a lawyer. Okay, then a lawyer, then a lawyer, just a lawyer. No, and, okay, very good. Uh, so maybe, we can move on and then you can provide me some more example. Let's see. Here we go. And that was about um, verbs, right? And then now let's think about how to use participles. Well, participles, as you can see, are these verbs which are in the third category, right? We have a verb is divided into, into three, let's say, tenses. We have present, past, and past participle, right? And these ones, the one we have here, which is paid, is considered a participle because it's the third category of a list of verb, in case we have a list, right? Present, past, and past participle. Now, uh, can we use, guys, this structure better and then, or maybe as well as, and then we use any participle here to create any other example, like better, and then we use one other action. This is better paid here. Think about famous people, I think this can help. Famous people, scientists. I have a one teacher. Okay. Well, thank you. A reggaeton singer is better known than a political. <laughs> than a politician, right? Okay. You see, that's a, a politician. That's, yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. With this social network, right? Okay. And these, a lot of um, what do you call these features? Anyone who doesn't sing well can, uh, can be maybe recognized, right? As someone who sings beautifully, but it's not their own voice. Something might be, you know, <laughs> modified when they're singing, you know, out of tune, for example. <laughs> okay, so what else? Any other idea? Use better class participles.
learning Japanese is more complicated than learning English. Okay, I like it. We are using a, a, a participle, past part, complicated. Mm -hmm. okay, sounds like, that. okay. What else? Anything else that comes to your mind you want to share? A doctor is better paid. I'll give you one more minute to think about one one example and I would like I would like to read it please. Cheese pupusas is a square eaten and spins Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cheese pupusas is a is as well eaten as beans pupusas. Yes. Okay. I see the point. Thank you. And only Joel is sharing and Jessica and the other one is thinking or why is it you don't want to think about one of one example on your own. Let, let's take one more minute and let's think about one possible idea you can um, you can add. I'll give you uh, one more minute in case there's one more who wants to share what is better. See, what else one? Okay, I want to share this example, guys. So you can uh, maybe follow this uh, same one and you can program it with one on your own. This is the one uh, we had. If we make a comparison between a nurse and a doctor and we want to create different categories, right? We have adjectives, nouns, verb, and past participles. So these are basically uh, what, four, ways how to make comparisons with adjectives, with nouns, this is number two, with verbs, and with past participles, okay? Now, um, all of these are just opinions, right? Therefore, we can make comparisons with any of this. So let me see, I think there are some examples on, on going to the movie theater is much better than then going, uh, then watching, in this case, watching a movie at, at home or at, at the house, right? After then, you say another ING, for ING, so it sounds good. Now the children are as tired as adults, okay? This is tired, this is the um, participle, but this is like a negative, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what about this, this one? We have four ways how to make comparisons. Adjectives, nouns, verbs, and participles. Okay, this is what we have on the, on the platform. And then how about if we have one for each category and this is what we have, so this is what we get. Uh, working as a doctor is more interesting. Well, we have interesting, this is our adjective, than working as a nurse. 
Now, uh, this is what Emma asked earlier. Uh, so a doctor has worse hours now, hours than a nurse. And then we have a doctor earns, well, this is a verb. And then we have the doctor is better paid than a nurse. This is a past participles. Now, uh, so this is easier. Let's do the following. Let's not think about maybe situations. Let's just focus on occupations and also professions. And let's create one example. And please, this time, I want you to think how we can create the four categories, okay? So choose two occupations or professions and then make one sentence for each one. Uh, adjective, noun, verb, and uh, past participles. I'm gonna give you maybe four minutes, one minute per sentence, and then I want to hear them. Take some time. Please uh, write them down and then we're going to be sharing them. think I have the first one, DJ, I think he says adjectives. Working as a pilot is more fascinating than working as a developer. That's one adjective, fascinating, good. thinking that maybe one Gustavo can be uh, a pi or pilots. Pilots have more or, or pilots have um, more fascinating, more fascinating or experiences, uh -huh, experiences than any other, you know, okay. occupation. Like experiences is like what we're like, using as a noun in this case. And let's see, we have some other, Emma. Emma, um, modeling is in a beauty, is this pagant? Pagant, right? Or well, how do you pronounce it, Emma? It's, it's more difficult than modeling in a fashion show. I don't know what that will be. It's like a catwalk, no? It's different? Okay, Emma? Would you clarify yeah. that? Uh, yes. Well, hi, man. When mm -hmm. when you 
How can I say that? Well, in a beauty contest, so you know, in a beauty pageant, it's mm -hmm. different because uh, the person who is participating has to smile all the time and make different kind of expressions in front of the people and sometimes say uh, some things that it could be interesting and good for the others. Uh. And in a fashion show, just have to just has to have the same expression all the time and it's hard but i think it's harder in a beauty pageant to maintain right you know the same attitude for the time the the event lasts okay maybe it's, i see i see what you're saying i get to you folks uh, living in as a rich person it's more expensive yet yeah, than living as a normal person with okay, adjectives, okay? So I see you have sent with adjectives, okay? And what about pilots spend less money in travel, in traveling than a lawyer? Okay, you see, that's really cool. You're saying you're using, an, uh, you're using a, a verb, right? And that's a point spend less money than okay in traveling travel, traveling okay good Probably. all right awesome so we're just missing in your case gustavo only the past participle i know you're going to you know come come up with with a good idea and i would love to hear everybody like participating maybe not opening your microphone but sending them if you if you want to talk on the chat See some others. Teaching online is more efficient than teaching. Mm, depends. If the group is big, uh, teaching in the classroom is, is challenging. Uh -huh. But if it's, uh, you know, the, the group is small, teaching in like face-to-face -face or face-to-face -face classes is easy. A manager is has more responsibilities. That's good, okay. Than a mechanic, exactly. Really good, as a noun, right? A pilot a, is uh huh. But that could be like a participle. You see? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Right. One. Exactly. Trained. That would be the participle. Yeah. A pilot is more trained. Then a taxi driver, it makes a lot of sense. A pilot is more trained, yeah, than a taxi driver. You got your own, you had your four, four examples. Really good. Jose, farmers are worse paid than as no one is in the, yeah. You see that is participle too. Mm -hmm. Are worse paid than, mm -hmm. Working as a logistic is more interesting than working as an account. Okay. That's adjectives, right? I'll give you maybe two more minutes. Then I some I have some other.
a private school teacher earns more money. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Well, but it's, it's a good example, but that's not true. <laughs> it's really sad, but that's not true. You know, uh, depends maybe, because if you're talking about professors at university, that's different because professors make more money, right? University level. But in school, mm -mm, not at all. I'm currently working for public school. That's my full-time job. I teach at a, at a school. That's my job. And then I used to work for, for a school like in San Salvador. And they, they don't pay as, as, as the government pays. You see? And they demand more than a public school. The problem with the public schools is that it's a job you want to do you as a professional, because nobody's, you know, asking for anything like planning, uh, rubrics, all that. So, so public school, that's why the system in El Salvador is really like, I don't know, in my point of view, it's really like the quality is really, I don't know, low. And, uh, but money, well, the government pays a lot more than in, private school okay interesting that's, that's really sad believe me i i used to work for us for a bilingual school in san salvador they pay me like i would say half of what i make in the public sector that's super sad that's why you know people teachers most of the teachers like i want to get a job with the government but it's not easy to get in many things. Let's see what other things you have written that I haven't read. Uh -huh. A private school, I read this one. Logistics has worse problems than I count that. Maybe Evelyn, I don't know. Okay. All right, let's do something because we have like maybe the next 15 minutes. And I got some other structures, same, same way, but uh, maybe this will help us a little bit. To, to continue to create more examples. Uh, this is a lot of grammar, as, as, as you have seen. These uh, modules are only grammar. And then, but then I got this one, uh, so I can give you some other ideas, maybe less, uh, maybe same ideas, but we can use them with other, you know, uh, maybe adjectives or verbs or nouns or participles so we can create our own ideas. Um, adjectives is more, less interest in that. What comes to your mind? Mm, it's more interesting than, like in my, my, my life, let's see. Uh, going to the ditch is more interesting than staying home. This is too basic, but then uh, I'm just thinking about the first category, harder than what? Uh, maybe in planning a class is harder than teaching a class. And maybe um, teaching an online class is harder than, I don't know. No, this is the other way around. Maybe it depends on the group. I'm thinking about my situation, but what about you guys? What do you do on a daily basis? At, at work, with your colleagues, with your coworkers? And let's think of ideas using this first category. And then we move on to the next one. Open your mic, please. Talk to me. Let's use each of them. This one, this one, and this one. On your um, situation, if this one is too easy, 
So then let's move on to the next one with verbs. And we have earns more, earns as much as doesn't earn. I think we kind of like talk with this verb earns. Then what about with nouns? We have better, worse, hours, more education than. This is kind of me. And then isn't as much work as. Let's compare nouns. Let's compare people, let's compare um, situations or, or occupations. Anybody who wants to uh, participate with any example? Teacher, I did one with adjective. Mm -hmm. What is it that you have? Okay, it's uh, running a marathon is harder than watching a marathon in TV. Yeah, I can see your point, of course, right? Good, good example. It's harder than just chilling, right? Just chilling. Okay, just chilling on the on your coach and seeing other running. Okay, okay good. Um, maybe learning Japan, no Chinese. I think is harder than learning English. I think due to this changing uh, writing, you know, characters. I don't know how you call them. Okay, and what else? What what well, other things you can think about, guys? Better, worse, hours, which occupations? What about education? Which one? For example, I think um, maybe in preparation time, you know, that when you study to be a doctor, you study more, more years. So um, maybe doctors, the de degree has more education than what teachers due to this time frame they study i think if we want to see it this way on this perspective right so what else comes to your mind i'll give you one more minute think about any whatever of this any of this structure and at least share one example Well, um, I think work um, as a builder is harder than work as, um, as developer, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, working as a builder, right, is harder than... Or start, start working at 6 a.m. is harder. So then start to work at 8 a.m. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's how unfair life is, Gustavo. <laughs> and you know, and if we talk about money, they they make way less than any other. Yeah. El Salvador has worse public education than Spain. <laughs> Yeah, sad reality. Uh, okay. 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 My 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 girlfriend is less. <laughs> okay. Okay, but she still is right. <laughs> Yeah, I can see, man. Wow, that's a big problem, right? Many, many things can be said about that, Francisco. Okay, uh, I'm gonna change these uh, these ideas because I have some other very similar, but then I still want you to. Uh, this is the point of practicing some structures in this grammar again, but then it changes a little bit, as you can see here. 
some other ideas, guys. Some of them change, some of them are very similar, or maybe they're really similar, just some bird changes, but then um, maybe the adjective only. Like in the first one, the first one definitely changes. Uh, what comes to your mind? Sounds more, sounds less challenging than, how can you complete this idea? So let's see, Melissa, working as a as, as, as secretary, it's not as hard as working as a teacher. Okay, maybe teaching the planning and the grading and in the, in the evaluation is the one that takes time. What about sounds more challenging than? What activities, jobs, or I'm thinking about one, for example, um, maybe applying for a scholarship abroad sounds more challenging than applying for a scholarship in the country, like in, within our country. I think, what about with less? So let's think two ideas, sounds more and sounds less challenging then. What comes to your mind, anything else? There are 10 people connected, but then I just see a few of you participating. And that's, um, I don't know. If you have questions about how this works, the structure, please say it and send your uh, questions on the chat. Or if you don't feel like sending it there, just send it to me by, uh, privately. But I do want to hear you know, your um, maybe situation, if you are getting it or not. Another thing, if you have any specific question about the platform exercises, please uh, specify then and we, then we can open the platform and we can work on that. Just something that I want you to have clear is, you know, it's important you, you let us know about any confusion on the platform. So if, so we can clarify it or report it if necessary. So one more idea uh, with this one, because the next ones are very similar. Maybe let's think only about sound more and sound less. Please, anyone? Have you um, practiced any extreme sport, guys? No extreme sports here in the country? Or maybe anything that you have seen, any video you have seen that you, you can say, um, maybe practicing this sport sounds more, or maybe doing this activity, sounds less if you haven't done it. I think I have one example on the chat. Let's see, speaking French sounds more attractive than Portuguese. Uh -huh. French, they say, is really like what? Elegant. I've never, I don't, I think I was learning how to speak French, but then I stopped so I can, I, I don't know. In Portuguese, well, I think it's very similar to, to Spanish. 
I don't know. This is because I heard one yes, of my friends. It is. is it? Portuguese. Portuguese is very nasal. Uh, and I don't like that. So it's not, I thought, I thought French is, is nasal. No, Portuguese is nasal. Well, uh -huh. French is like with your, with your, I don't know how to say garganta, or your throat. Throat. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's, okay, I thought it was the other it's way different. around. It's, it's a different. Uh, I thought it well, was. I'm not sure. Because when you speak French, I thought it was with your nose, like nasal, as you said it. But then, um, well, I, we will have to study it. Okay. Anything else? Any other thing? Riding a mountain bike is harder than running. Mm -hmm. Never done that, but sounds like interesting. And what about sounds more, sounds less? Sounds more, sounds less. Anything? Last, last minute, last one, last two examples. Dancing salsa is less difficult than dancing ballet. Wow, interesting. I don't know how to dance, not even reggaeton, you know. So, but you might have your reasons, Jessica, or if it is just an example, well, sounds, it's a really good one. Okay, uh, one more example, guys, and then we're going to finish with these ideas. Old school music sounds more challenging than new school. Okay, maybe, right? Interesting. Okay. Those who didn't, uh, cooking pizza is less difficult than making pupusas. Let's maintain the same, the same uh, structure, ING forms. Okay, um, well, thank you then so much for your uh, classical music sounds less danceable than pop music. True, true. Maybe it depends how, you know, uh, they dance, right? Or, or these steps, you know, that, that they usually do. Well, thank you so much to those who were really active on participating, you know, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your um, participation and asking uh, and adding some ideas to the class. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow if God gives us the chance to do it, okay? Take care and try to rest as much as possible. And if you have any question about any specific item or question on the platform, just have it ready or let us know, you know by the beginning of the next class. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.